Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joshua Kessner and welcome to my podcast. Today I want to talk about why voice actors are important in our digital literacies we use, but also why they are overlooked. One of the big ways that voice actors are overlooked is because of the medium they use in today's society. In the book Understanding Digital Literacies, A Practical Introduction by Rodney H. Jones and Christoph A. Hafner, on page 99 in chapter 7 they state, The crux of the concept of mediation is that we cannot interact with the world without doing it through some kind of medium, and the media that we use play an important role in determining how we perceive the world and the actions we can take. Because they play an important role in determining how we perceive the world of the character, they are often overlooked and not given credit to the voice. A voice actor's main job is to immerse you in the character on the screen most of the time. In the book, The Magic Behind the Voices, A Who's Who of Cartoon Voice Actors, by Tim Lawson and Alyssa Pearsons, they state on page 6, Adler claims to be clueless as to how many voices he has created, stressing that the emphasis is not on doing a voice as much as determining the many elements used to create a character. Because they are not just doing voices, but giving life to the character, we often attribute the voice they are using to the character itself. We say things like, that's Spongebob's voice, or that's Bugs Bunny's voice, when in reality it's the voice of the human being behind the microphone. Voice actors don't just do cartoons either. They also do other parts of media, such as video games. The main goal is the same for all voice actors here as well. In James Paul Gee's article, What Video Games Have to Teach Us About Learning and Literacy, he states on page 3, the more a player can manipulate a game character and make decisions that impact on the character, the more the player invests in the character and the game at a deep level. This investment appears to be the deepest foundation of a player's motivation in sticking with and eventually mastering a game. The more a person invests in the character, the more they invest in the game. This creates a living identity for the character, just like in cartoons. However, unlike cartoons, there is more of a connection to the character. This is because the character is controlled by the player. Voice actors also do audiobooks. In the article Book List Presents Voice of Choice by Joyce Serix, she states on page 1, Regardless of preparation and recording facilities, what Hayworn does in the books he reads is create magic. His skill at voicing accents and dialects, perhaps enhanced by his musical knowledge and ear, comes up frequently in reviews. Even though they are not doing a voice for a character, you are still invested in the book being read on a different level than if you were just reading it on your own. However, even though this is a different level of immersion, you are still immersed just the same as if you are watching cartoons or playing video games. Voice actors are often ignored by society because they view the character as having that voice. However, this is why they are one of the most important pieces in our digital literacies today. I have noticed that when I watch a movie or television show, I in fact subconsciously know that the actor is playing that character. However, with voice actors, because we view the character as having that voice, we are not pulled out of the splendid world and characters that are right in front of us. We are in fact pulled in. Voice actors help us see the world in a different light than we normally would. Like the article Book List Presents Voice of Choice by Joyce Serix represented, we see the story in the book as more magical than before. This power of voice actors often makes them be to become overlooked, but in a sense that's a good thing. The magical wonder of characters voice actors creates makes me respect them more. But let's be honest, the world would be a less interesting place without voice actors. Thank you all for listening to me talk about voice actors. I hope you guys enjoyed the topic as much as I did, and I hope it stirs some thoughts in you about um, respecting voice actors more. Uh, I know it's a big, a big industry for voice actors out there, 
but I, I have an awesome respect for voice actors in today's society, and I hope you guys gained a good respect for them as well. Thanks again for listening, and I hope you enjoyed.